Hey you guys, good morning. So today I'm gonna work on cleaning up this um, potted arrangement that I have. It's still beautiful, um, still alive and still surviving and thriving. So I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. This is petunia, uh, petunia. This is geranium, <laughs> sorry. This is geranium and it's been performing like this all summer long and it is now fall time and it's still going strong. I did put a coleus in here, two different kinds. I don't know if you can see. I might have to get a closer shot. Let me show you real quickly. There's two different coleus in here. There's this one over here, and then this red one over here. I put this red one in more for fall interest, and then this one just to give it some diversity. It has some of that reddish burgundy color for fall, so I thought it would be beautiful once they start blooming. But I mean the geranium is still blooming its head off, so I haven't really dug it out and um, got rid of it yet. But you could see it needs to be deadheaded and cleaned up, and maybe it's because I've been deadheading it so much that it keeps flushing. But it's definitely still beautiful, and it's fall time, so why not? This kind of make a mess though. There's still one good flower. Look at how beautiful this flower is. Still one beautiful flower on it, but the rest of it looks a little sad. But look at all the new buds I have on this. Isn't this amazing? They've lasted really long time. Last year, mine did not last this long, so I don't know why it's giving me so much pleasure, but I'll take it. So I go in and remove any leaves, even on the coleus leaves that look bad, just so it can continue to do a little bit more. I'm gonna have to get around on the other side, so sorry, you can see my back side. Um, So just go in, deadheaded, let it keep on performing. I did take a couple cutting of this geranium already for next year. But I love the fuchsia color. I'm just gonna put it down there. Sounds like I have a neighborhood dog party. Really sounds like a dog fight going on. It usually doesn't sound like that in this neighborhood. That's kind of weird. this away but I'm just kind of putting it into the ground I'm doing it the lazy way this morning I'm heading out to go look at some properties so that's why I've got my boots on and I'm ready to go exploring <laughs> we're gonna go check out some acreage in Alabama and in Franklin Georgia just see what we can find Everything feels like it needs a little bit of watering. I haven't even had my morning cup of coffee yet. But it's such a beautiful morning, I came out and enjoyed my flowers instead. This, I should be doing this with the coffee in hand, right? That would be nice.
This is one thing I love about Georgia. I used to live in Colorado, and you know by this time Colorado is already getting hit with snow. I don't envy them at all. I don't miss that at all. I miss snowboarding, but I never did gardening as much as I did here. Gar your garden just lasts a lot longer in Georgia than in Colorado. You can grow more, things last longer, things looks prettier. All the time and effort, you get more reward, I guess. More time to enjoy it. So, that heading is kind of nice. Then your flower can spend, your plant can spend extra time giving care to the new growth which are the new buds than having to worry about the old stuff now i do want to give you guys a closer closer shot i have two different geranium so there is like one that's almost oh you can't see it in this picture i don't know if the camera can capture it but this one's more of a purple color and this one is more of a, a neon pink fuchsia you can see like the outer rim right here um, it's more of a fuchsia color, so that's the color of this one over here. Whereas this one over here is more of a, it's more, I don't want, even want to say it's muted, but it's more of a purple color down below. This camera is not capturing that color like I would like for it to. But yeah, there's two different kinds in here. And the coleus is holding up its own, I think it's getting eaten by slugs or something. But it's doing really good in here. Sitting up some new shoots. It does look a little dry, so I might have to give it some water. Like here's here's two different. So you can see the difference, the offset and the color. But they're both equally beautiful and they, you know, they show off each other's potential really well. So it's really full all around. I'm really I'm really excited for this uh potted plant. It's been doing really well. And then just a quick look at everything else. Everything's kind of looking tired, but my um, my Miranda Lambert Rose is still doing good. It looks like I'm having some issue with uh, Caterpillar, I think. Let me see. Hang on. There's a Caterpillar right there. So it looks like Sevens is in order. That's the powdery stuff that I spray on. A while ago to treat <clears throat> to treat them look you can see underneath there's a whole bunch of different ones it's trying to eat the leaves look at this pretty pretty pink one isn't she beautiful I've got some yellow ones over here I love the different stages as they um, bloom and age when you get them when they first come as a bud bright yellow and then they fade out look at that beautiful one so yesterday when I was digging up some of my uh, fruiting trees I put them in pots finally got them in pots it was dark so I didn't really film after that sorry for the trash can and everything but um there was the pomegranate here and here and I didn't realize it but the store had stuck two into one pot that's why it looks so big and monstrous and when I dig it up and wait and try to flush out all of the ants I realized that they're two different plants one here and one here so I just gently tease it apart and broke it apart and then transplant both so now I have three pomegranate tree instead of just two so I'm super excited about that one thing I didn't do when I transplant transplant them and repot them into the pot is to come in and kind of give it a little bit of a haircut to trim it back um, to help with the shock and the stress of what I just did feels like I tortured them, but I don't think I tortured, tortured them. 
It looks like the root ball wasn't doing as great as I had hoped when I actually pulled it up from the ground. So I think they'll be much happier in this pot and then hopefully um, the new place where I'm going to take them, they will enjoy that soil a lot better. I believe if we get the property, it'll be in Alabama and they have loom soil. So I think they're, they said that that's supposed to be one of the better soils to plant. Um, you know to grow things so i'm actually excited still look at this uh, pineapple sage you guys it's still outstanding that's definitely something i need to do when i come back today is take some cutting of the pineapple sage so i can propagate some but all the pollinators are doing their thing oh look at this one right here He's just chilling out. And then look at this honeybee right there. There's a lot of honeybees definitely loving the pineapple sage and all of this little grouping of flower over here, which I've done a couple of videos on. I do have a mum that looks like it's starting to come out. Look at this pretty mum. Isn't that pretty? It's a huge big one, look. Now, I'm not really into mum. I do like chrysanthemum, the huge big one that's more for floral and for showing instead of the ones that you pot into the ground. Um, I do love the chrysanthemum. Those are beautiful. Um, so maybe I'll get one of those one day. So all the pots that I dig up, I actually only have a couple more, I think, that I need to do for uh, my Japanese maple. But look, I finally got all my Japanese maple in a pot. I think the hubby's a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> I asked him if he saw all my pots and he was like, um, yeah. So hopefully we can find a property soon so I can get all these babies situated. Um, probably still leave them in a pot, but we're going to find shelter for them somewhere until springtime and then I can plant them in the ground. The only bad thing is I don't know where to plant them. So you guys will have to give me some idea. Um, I did pot up the um, bottleneck bush, I think is what they're called. Um, two, I had two of them that I rooted from cutting and they seem to be doing well so I transplant them in here just to help them get situated before the final move since it is getting a little bit chillier. And then, like I said, I'll probably come around, um, take some cutting from the sage. I'm definitely going to take this, um, this, what is it called? I want to say pine cone, <laughs> but it's cone flower. Isn't she beautiful? See, all plants, again, I said she want to show you really quickly my roses look at this one i don't know the name of this one but they propagate really easily so this one i have an abundance in the flower bed they are not my favorite they look really pretty right now but they usually don't stay pretty for very long but right here just the cluster of four is just beautiful And then there's another dainty red rose right here. This one's more of a kind of like the um, knockout roses. They're just small and in little clusters. Some more pine, uh, pine cone, some more cone flower. <laughs> I don't know what I should do with this one, you guys. This is a crepe myrtle. It's the diamond uh, collection, and it's actually black foliage with red flower. And it wasn't very showy this year, but I think that's because I didn't trim it correctly, I think, so I didn't get a lot of flower. But it's really showy, but as you can see, it's pretty hardy. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to transplant that and take that with me. 
and I haven't really been very successful at rooting it from cutting so I I might have to chalk this one up as a loss and I think that's about it any further and I'm gonna go down to this area over here this is my raspberry still performing oh I do want to show you this one flower it's another rose of course But it's a pretty rose. Look at that. Isn't she beautiful? And then I did end up potting up um, the grapefruit. I cut the root back a little bit. Put it into the ground. It looks like it's doing good still. I'm hoping. It literally took almost the entire two cubic feet of potting mix miracle grow that I had and I was hoping to use this for a whole bunch of other projects but the grapefruit tree deserved it it looked like it was stressing so hopefully I'll do a better job growing in that pot which I think it should uh oh huh, see light is shedding and look I've got stuff on that under under leaf over here too all right gonna have to definitely treat it but it looks pretty healthy considering that i just shocked it almost to death and i think that's about it you guys i hope you guys are having a fabulous sunday morning enjoy your weekend and your time off with friends and family another project i'll have to do is of course did hit all my Rio Samba Rose and then trim it all the way back so I can take it with me. Although it's going to leave a hole, a gaping hole right here. But I think the elephant ear and the uh, angel trumpet is doing a good job of hiding it. So we'll see how it goes. A couple little other um, mayor's lemon cutting that I did. I haven't treated it. But it looks like somebody's enjoying all the leaves. I hope you guys are having a great day. See you in the next one. Bye, everybody.